According to Ice Group's latest research, U.S. identity theft is a stark reality. 47% of Americans have suffered financial identity theft as of 2020, according to IACT. Furthermore, according to the group's analysis, losses from identity theft cases totaled $502.5 billion in 2019, and they were expected to rise 42% in 2020, but we're in 2022, so it has skyrocketed. According to the organization, the massive spike then was spurred by the pandemic's high rate of jobless identity theft as enhanced and prolonged unemployment benefits made the sector an appealing target for fraudsters. Two years after, there is a higher spike in the number of identity theft victims. Today on Insights, we share warning brand identity theft signs and sure solutions. Hello and welcome to Insights on Chris TV. I am Bethany Chris. Brand identity theft is the impersonation of a business identity in the digital space to commit fraud. It is a situation whereby online thieves hijack company management beyond the control of the individuals running the company. Now there are warning signs before a brand goes under an attack and it is good to be familiar with ploys that criminals often use. Examine the three most popular. Paid negative reviews propaganda. 94% of consumers have avoided companies due to bad reviews. In e-commerce, some have taken the competition to the extreme. They go about discrediting business rivals to petty slander and defamation. False customers are paid to leave negative reviews that slander one brand and its products on social media, encouraging buyers to patronize another brand that sells similar goods. Now, there's another one called phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. It's an old age tactic where scammers cut their teeth on as they advance to more sophisticated forms of cybercrime. As worn out as this method may seem, it's still one of the most used by hackers. Phishing describes any form of communication in which criminals use a popular company's name, a popular credible company, to obtain clients' personal information for fraudulent reasons. All social media attacks are number three. This is a growing trend that goes with the mob mentality. Some brands get maligned without anyone getting to ask them to tell their own side of the story. It has been established severally that competition gets such negative campaigns going just to distract the brand from being attacked or to gain some form of advantage over them. Remember the Chicken Republic scandal a few weeks ago? I didn't say anything. Here are some tips to protect your online brand. Now, leverage IP protection. There is a saying that there is nothing new under the sun, yet this saying in no way minimizes the importance of copyright and intellectual property law. Besides launching a product or a company, one of the first things a founder should do is to secure the proper intellectual property safeguards. Among other things, IP protection may include trademarks, copyrights, and patents. Hiring a competent IP lawyer is the way to legally protect your brand from copycats, litigations, and infringement. Fortify your digital assets starting with .ng. Your digital assets include your websites and social media platforms where your brand connects with customers digitally. For new business owners, domain names are a vital aspect of any business brand. As soon as you come up with your business name, search for and register a domain name. Even if you're not planning to set up a website immediately, claiming your domain name is absolutely necessary. Also, managing an active and verifiable presence on social media can help maintain trust in your brand and combat fraudsters. Engaging meaningfully with customers too is a strategy that never gets old. So use your social media channels to keep in touch with and attend to clients also, monitor your financials. Keep track of business credit reports and other financial documents so that you spot them when things do not add up. Doing this will allow you to fix any problem before they blow out of proportion. Act as quickly as possible as soon as you realize that your brand is under attack. If it is an IP issue, engage your lawyer who will issue a desist order to the erring party. If it's a defamation issue or lies being told about you online, issue appropriate statements on your social media channels and other news outlets to clear up the negative perception of your brand. We hope this knowledge was useful to you. For more inspiring, impacting and motivating content, follow us on all social media platforms. Do not forget 
to like, share, comment on the video below, and of course, subscribe. Until next time, this is Insight on Crypto TV. Thank you.